हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम अमित बेलेकर फ्रॉम टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स बाय ए एम बी वेलकम्स यू टू माय चैनल फर्स्ट लेट्स हैव अ लुक व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डील इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वांट टू नो हाउ दिस मटेरियल ब्रेक्स देन डोंट स्किप एनी पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो एंड स्टे ट्यून्ड बट बिफोर मूविंग फर्दर If you still didn't subscribe to my channel please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon to get notifications of all my new videos in previous some presentations we had already discussed what is size reduction and what are the factors affecting size reduction in this presentation we are discussing about mechanisms and mills involved in size reduction after going through this presentation the learner will be able to describe laboratory scale and large scale size reduction describe mechanisms of size reduction classify mills and endless characteristics required in a mill so first we will start with laboratory scale size reduction simplest method used in size reduction in laboratory is use of mortar and pestle this method is also used for small scale dispensing purpose where formulations are prepared and dispensed to in patients many types of materials are powdered by this method but fibrous and oil containing materials are difficult to grind in mortar whenever we think about mortar and pestle there is a term associated with it that is trituration so what is trituration the substance is placed in mortar and rotated in circular manner with some pressure with the help of pestle it is called as trituration weight of pestle and pressure applied by person decides the degree of pulverization crystalline and brittle substances are pulverized by this method it is also used for mixing of powders sometimes to facilitate grinding another substance is mixed with the drug to be powdered such a substance should be easily separable from the drug or should be volatile in nature to remove it easily from the powder now next we are discussing about large scale size reduction various combination or size reduction or grinding machines are used for size reduction on large scale these machines are classified on the basis of mechanisms involved in the process of size reduction let's see what are the mechanisms of size reduction following mechanisms are involved in the process of size reduction as cutting compression impact attrition combined impact and attrition now let's discuss about these mechanisms one by one so let's start with cutting mechanism this is the mechanism in which the material is cut by means of a sharp blade knives root cutter or any sharp instrument cutting of material is done to hasten process of drying the drugs another mechanism is compression in this method the material is crushed by application of pressure you can see here material is crushed by application of pressure between two plunges this mechanism is compression next mechanism is impact impact is nothing but striking of material either by moving object or on a stationary surface if material is stationary it is hit by an object moving at high speed while when material is moving the moving particles strike a stationary surface in either case the material breaks to smaller pieces another is attrition in attrition the material is subjected to pressure as in compression but the surfaces are moving relative to each other resulting in shear forces which break the particles 
Here you can see the material is crossed between two rollers which are moving in opposite directions. Last mechanism is combined impact and attrition. Mechanism of impact and attrition can be combined in some mills to get better result. Here you can see that material is strike by moving hammers and also it comes between two surfaces of hammer head and another moving surface which moves in opposite direction. Now we will classify the size reduction equipment or mills according to mechanism of size reduction involved in it. Grinding machines can be divided into different types depending upon mechanisms involved in the process of size reduction as follows. First type is equipment based on mechanism of cutting. Example is cutter mill. Next is equipment based on mechanism of compression. An example is roller mill. Next is equipment based on mechanism of impact. Examples are hammer mill and disintegrator. Next is equipment based on mechanism of attrition. And examples are roller mill and triple roller mill. Next is equipment based on mechanism of impact and attrition. And examples are ball mill, fluid energy mill and pin mill. Last is miscellaneous equipments. Examples are age runner mill, end runner mill and jaw crusher. Finally, we are going to discuss what characteristics should be required in a grinding equipment or machinery to make it a good grinding equipment. Grinding equipment should possess following important characteristics. First is, these should be easy to maintain. Second is, this should have high efficiency or we can say it should give higher output. Next is, this should be able to grind variety of material. If there is specific machine for specific material, then many machines should be purchased. So, machine which handle variety of material can be preferred. Next is, this should have less adjustments and easy to handle. It means that it should not have critical steps or procedures to handle it. Next is continuous and batch operation processes should be possible on them. As per the need of process, it can be converted to continuous operations or batch operation machine. Next is these should have higher feed capacity. It means it should have proper hopper size to accommodate more quantity of material at a time. Next is, this should perform dust free operation. It will be healthy for the worker. And last is, this should be easy to dismantle. If we want to change the location of machine, it should be easy to dismantle and easy to assemble too. So this is for today's session. Let's summarize what we had discussed so far. In this session, we had discussed that use of mortar and pestle by trituration process is the main way of size reduction on laboratory scale. We also discussed that various mills are used for size reduction on laboratory scale. Mills are classified on basis of mechanisms involved in it like cutting, compression, impact and attrition. Finally, we had discussed which characters should be present in a good meal. Thank you for your patient listening. If you like this presentation, please click on subscribe button and bell icon to get notification of further videos. Like it and share it to your dear ones. Drop your queries in comments or on my mail address which is given in the video. Thank you once again.